Hey guys, welcome back to... Mage Life. We're back in our Thomic lab again today. Last time we worked on our storage system. Still got a little bit of work to do on that, but today what I want to work on is actually getting my room together. I got my room at the top of the Mage Tower, and... Well, I haven't really done anything with it yet. So let's go head on up there. So this is my room. Got me in... <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it a fancy chandelier, but... Uh, I don't... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe a mage tastic. I I'm just making stuff up now, but <laughs> but we're gonna try and work on our room today. We're gonna make up some cool stuff and see if we can't get this decorated and fit for a mage. So let's head down and get started, shall we? All right. So I want to try and put some cool new stuff in there that I haven't made yet. Uh, let's try some other stuff for lighting. I'm gonna try and see if I can't make this. Where is that at? I need some string. Let's we'll see if I can't make some candles. I think they're like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. White tallow candle. Now I'm gonna make up two of these. I wanna see if I can't actually color them. Can I color them with like ink sacks? So how do I do this? Do I have to do it while I'm making it or what? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how to color the uh, the candles here. Or do I need to put the candle on top and the ink on the bottom? Hmm. I'm not too sure on how to color these candles. Or how to apply color to them. I just, I'm not sure. I know it's I know it's possible. But there's the regular tallow candles right there, and I I have never really seen this in the Thaumonomicon, but I could be wrong. I could have missed this somewhere in here. Let's see, scribing tools. Yeah, see not in there. Wouldn't be in the arcane work table, glass file, crucible, tables. No. Aspects of magic? No. Aura, silverwood trees, shimmer leaf flux, infused ore. See, I don't know where this would be at if it was in here, and I don't see the recipe in any eye anywhere I've looked. So I'm not entirely sure what the recipe is for this. Let me, let me look again. So here they are, the tallow candles, but I'm clicking on them, pushing R, nothing's happening. As you can see, there are different color candles. I'm just not sure how to obtain those. But I think some white candles would be all right. I'm not going to complain too much. We'll save some tallow for later, too. That way I can uh, make some more if I want to. So eight candles will be fine for now. Right, that's not the only thing I want to get made up. Let me actually put the ink sacks back. So there's actually some other stuff. Let me take a look in our Thaumonomicon real quick. What is this? Talisman of Withhold. Oh, yeah, I don't really want that. I read that one already, and I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> a crystal capacitor could be kind of cool in my room. Storing V for a rainy day. You have found a way of restoring V absorption properties to dull crystals. By combining eight of these crystals, you can create a crystal capacitor that functions in much the same way as infused ore. Each crystal capacitor can store up to 100 V and will slowly absorb or release V if nearby nodes are above or below their baseline levels. It can absorb or it can only absorb or release 1 V every 5 seconds. The crystal or the capacitor well, crystal capacitor, that's fine. Can be safely moved without losing any stored V. This isn't too bad to make either. Dole shards and arcane wood block. Let's make up a few of these. We haven't made any of these up, and it could be, you know, beneficial. All right, so let's make up four of them. Let's grab some of these shards. That should be plenty. Place that in the center and surround it. Perfect. All right, so we're going to need 16 Viatris, 16 Pracantatio, and 16 Permutatio. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to go get some more eggs. 
All right, we're gonna have to go grab some more eggs here in a second, but let's see, we got plenty of files, probably not enough for everything we want to do, but let's grab some silverwood logs. Beatrice, well, wait a second, what if I used... I could use some of these shards that I have up here, namely these air shards because they have Beatrice and Pracantatio, and then I could use the Modus and the Aura that's on there, too. We might do that. We might do that. That'll save us a little bit of work. So that'll take care of two of them, and we just need the eggs. So let's go grab some eggs. Now, I have pretty much everyone turned off down here, like all my golems. They're all uh, on break right now because, well, I don't need them. <laughs> I got more than enough resources, as you can see. So I'm going to grab me some eggs. My farms are doing good. In fact, I just harvested this not long ago. All of this. And these guys are turned off because, well, yeah. I think I showed you guys. They're pretty much full. <laughs> Don't need it anymore. And our aura looks like it's doing all right. Still high on flux, but... Uh, we got our silverwood trees grown around the area, and hopefully they're helping out with our flux problem. I'd like to think so, though. All right, let's head back inside here, and I think we're good to go. So let's grab us some eggs, and we're going to need... Ooh, that would be a problem. I don't need that in there. Make sure these things are all cleared up. And they're not. Little flux shouldn't hurt too bad. Alright, so we're gonna need eight eggs. And we're gonna need, what's that, eight of these? Actually, dull shards would work in this too. We got more dull shards. That way we're not wasting too much essence, right? But then I won't have any left. Because this is all I got left. Yeah, let's just use the other. That'd be fine. So we're going to need... Boop. Those. And that should be enough to make us one crystal capacitor. And let's make us a few more. Everything should be perfect on this. I wanted to give me some more water. Jars made up and... I still got to clean all this junk up. I really have not done that yet. I really need to. Alright, let's do that one more time. Oh yeah. Alright, so that's going to drain some V from my aura. That'll be alright. Hopefully these will actually help us out. I think combining these with our uh, crystals that I have in my bag here, these uh, crystal clusters, I think that'll actually help out our, re our V re absorption or whatever. Something like that, I think. Not entirely sure on this. Alright, there's a third one. Right, you guys are doing a great job. All right, let's do the last. Well, actually, air shard. Yeah, we might want to hold on to those air shards. Let's just use these dull shards. We'll use these eight. There we go. That way we're not wasting too much stuff when we have some... Some more shards left over of each kind. So there we go. We got two items to place in our room so far. Not bad. And we got some wool in here, right? Yep. Now I'm going to make me up a bed real quick. Even though uh, I could use this, right? Even though we've already made a bed before. <laughs> we should all know how to make a bed, right? Hope so. Make up two beds. Might as well make me a uh, king size bed. Alright, now what else can I make up real quick? Let's take a look in here. Uh, let's see. Tool dynamism. Is that how you say that? Tool dynamism? Or dynamism? <laughs> dynamism. 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 <laughs> Stationary animation. You decided to further discover the uses of Gollum animation cores, and this is the fruit of that labor. 
This tablet can accept any item to animate with magical energy using the left and right buttons in the tablet's interface. You can select to do a left or right click with the item. The button in the bottom controls if the tablet reacts always when it can or just when a redstone signal is applied. Virtually anything can be animated including blocks. The type of tool in the tablet also defines how fast something breaks as expected. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's try making up one of these. I need a basic golem animation core. We're going to need some iron ingots and some gold. Alright, let's see. Gold, iron, and probably going to need some nitor. Let's see. Oh, we got some nitor. And now we're just going to need some in Imperito. Going to need eight of those guys. There we go. Golem animation core. Gold ingots. Iron ingots. And now we're going to need more Imperitio. Or Imperito, I'm sorry. Impracentatio. I hope I'm saying those correctly. And then how much Pracantatio? I needed 12. Should be enough. Now this is probably going to cause some flux. <laughs> this might cause some flux. Oh yeah, I need uh, 8 more. Yeah, this is going to cause quite a bit of flux. But I'm only going to make one of these. There we go. Tool dynamism tablet. Alright, now what else can I make? Let's actually pull our Thaumonomicon and take a look again. What is this? Arcane transmute... Wait. No, oh, transmutator. I was going to say transmutator. <laughs> transmutator. After researching further into the... In Oh, intricacies of the aura itself you have found a way to directly siphon its V using aspects from nearby aspectual sources conjure it into matter this block can accept an item to be used as a pattern to create new one or a new one only simple items in terms of aspect count can be created and in doing so it takes both V from the aura and the quadruple of each aspect from that item. Wow. That's a lot. So we're going to need a wand of equal trade, flux filter, a crucible, thomium ingots, and arcane wood blocks. Alright, so I wanted to make up some more arcane wood blocks, it looks like. Not a problem. And I think this might be the last thing we make for today. So let's grab some arcane wood blocks. And I'm going to need some Thaumium. So I'm going to have to make me some of that up. Let's grab some... I believe we want... Wait, what's the ratio on Thaumium? I keep forgetting. Eight and four. Alright, so I got that right. All right, so this should make us up two Thaumium ingots. Perfect. Two Thaumium ingots. Good stuff. Alright, so we got the Thaumium ingots. We got the Arcane Wood Blocks. We're going to need a Crucible now. Wait, did it say a crucible or a cauldron? Let's take a look real quick. Where are we at? Crucible. Okay, well, that's not a problem. I can make up a crucible in no time. Get our wand out and boom. Done. Easy enough, right? Pick that up and there we go. We have our crucible now. And... 
Let's see, let's pull our Thamanamicon back out and take a look at this pattern again. All right, so the last two things we're gonna need is a flux filter and a wand of equal trade. Flux filter is gold ingots and silverwood logs. So two silverwood logs and gold ingots. Plus we're gonna need aspects for this. I think I got that mixed up. I already have bad memory. <laughs> there we go. So, all right. So, I'm just going to need some Prankentatio. Or not Prankentatio. Perm yeah. Yeah. Permutatio. We're going to need eight of it. So, half of that. And there's our flux filter. So, last but not least, we're going to need a... I don't know if I... I don't think I have an extra one. Wand of equal trade. I don't think I do. Alright, so we're going to need V shards and Wand of the Apprentice. Which I have a couple of those made up. Oop, give me that back. Three V shards. Alright, so we're going to need four instrumentum and 16 permuta permutatio. Creepers outside be creeping. Hey, what else did I need? Oh, four instrumentum. Right. Uh, yeah. There we go. And there we have it. A wand of equal trade. So let's see if I can't remember this. I believe it goes something like... This? Right, there we go. So we're gonna need 48 per mutatio and 24 mutatio. Wow. That's a lot of aspects. Alright, so we need 48, huh? Isn't that like 12? No, 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 no. We need like 24 of these things. Alright, so that'd be like another 8. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna need that and then we're gonna need mutatio. Where can I get a good source of mutatio? That would be Malum. Do I even have a good source of Mutatio? These Wispy Essence, these have five on them. But I need more than that. I'm going to need 24. Hmm. Mutatio. Don't know if I got a whole lot of stuff with Mutatio on it. This might not be good. The gas tears have Malum. And I can't really just go out and kill some wisps. Sure would be nice though. What about these things? No, those are Malum too. Darn it. Hmm. Might have to put this one on hold for a little while. Could use magma creams, but I don't have any more slime. What about uh what about those other Pearls. What about those uh, Ender Eyes or Eyes of Ender? No, but I'll make one up just to throw back in here. Well, I know another good source, and that would be Mossy Cobble. But I don't know if I remember running into any dungeons anytime lately. I mean, I'll take a quick look of my lab or my uh, mines down down here. Wow, my aura is drained. That thing was almost full earlier. We did a lot of magic today. <laughs> I wanted to get some of that stuff up in a hurry. Oh, there you are. Where'd you come from? Oh, you were up there. I gotcha. I was going to say, our aura is moderate, but it's not. 
Alright, I do not remember where this... Oh, I think we found that uh, spawner somewhere down here, right? Spawner was probably in this mine shaft somewhere. I bet it was. It's been such a long time since I've been down in here. I doubt there's probably any left either. Alright guys, sorry about that. But I got a little bit lost down in my mines, I guess. But, uh... I remember where the spawner was that I found, one of them at least, this was right here in the beginning and I kind of already cleaned them out I think of all the <laughs> mossy cobblestone, so that idea is down the drain unfortunately, but you know what, we'll head back, get started on our room and finish it up for the day. I'll see if I can't run around and find us some something that'll allow us to use as mutatio. I believe is what we're looking for, right? Mutatio? Just checking down here real quick. I don't think I have anything, though. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and head on back up. And let's work on our room. We'll worry about the uh, transmutator later. Let's get some of this stuff looking good in our room, shall we? Alright, so let's put this back. Let's put this back. Put these back. And let's grab some wood. I don't know if I have any in here. Actually, stone slabs might be kind of cool. Hmm. Actually, let me use the bricks. Let me just use stone bricks. Let me run downstairs and grab some of those. We should have everything we need in one of these chests. There we go. I'm going to grab some brick slabs, some brick stairs, that should be good for now. Then back up, and I think we can have crystal capacitors, tallow candles, rotten flesh, I don't need that. <laughs> uh, tool dynamism, 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 oh wow. I want to make myself go crazy over that, aren't I? Alright, so I think I'm going to try something here. Maybe. Let's use one of these arcane stone blocks. And let me bring this, this... Ooh, a wood golem worker or two would be kind of cool to have in there, right? Maybe a couple clay golem workers. Just for looks. We're just decorating now, not really anything in particular. Uh, let's see, do I have any... Sure do. Leather. Let's get some of that. Some sticks. Got enough for two. Oh, good, we got plenty of sticks. Let's make up a few more. And I don't think of anything else off the top of my head. But I think that should work, so let's go ahead and head up there. Actually, let's take a brain in the jar up there for looks, too. Why not? Brain in the jar, arcane work table. We'll take some tables up there, too. Let's have some fun, shall we? Alright, let's decorate our room. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Awesome. All right, so thinking about putting the beds right up here. Uh-oh, that ain't good. That's odd. I'm not a fan of odd. So if they're odd, I'm going to have to put them to one side like this. Hmm. All right, that'll, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And then over here, I'll add something else like a couple tables. I think I'm just going to leave them like that. Can I put... Can I put uh, candles on top? No. Oh, I can. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I like that. Even flickers. It's awesome. Alright, so we got that taken care of there. Maybe we should just put our bed somewhere else. 
that just doesn't really work for me. I do like the, the tallow and the candle, but let's pick that up. I feel like I need something a little bit more fancy for my bed. Yeah, let me head down. I'm going to grab some more blocks. I just feel like I need some more color or something to make it look a little bit more fancy. Maybe some warded stone blocks. Hmm? Yes. Or more arcane stone blocks, possibly. Ooh, nether star. Yeah, we're going to get fancy. Let me in there. Alright, so let's get started on this. Hmm. See, I was thinking about using these, but I just don't know if that's going to work now. I don't have anything like, as far as like a half slab that would work well. I could put these above though. It's like a canopy. That could be kind of cool. We'll get rid of this for now. Place our bed there. We could grab some fences, some nether fences, so we'll have to go all the way down to the bottom for those. Where's my minium stone at? Well, I know it's not down in here, but that's uh kind of awkward. I always have my minium stone on me. I guess I must have broken in it. Oh, there it is. I made a new one. Forgot. All right, so let's go ahead and make up some nether brick fences, and we're gonna try these out and see how this looks. Something like that. Maybe. It doesn't look too bad. I think continuing these uh, obsidian tiles around might be kind of cool. But I think for now, this might be just fine. Let me actually add a table right here and here. Let's put some candles on the side. You know, I could believe that. I could believe that. That'll work. All right, let's uh, take our night tour. Let's put the night tour like right there. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. I like that. All right, so we'll just use a single bed for now then. All right, let me grab a table. We'll see if I can't place a table there. I'm gonna see if I can't take this tool dynamism. Or dynamism. Place it on top. Ooh, I can. Perfect. Let's move you. In fact, actually, let me take this because I don't really need that there because I got those tallow candles. We'll place these two right there. And then, so if I right click on this redstone, I don't need that. What about. Let's see. Can I put a. Oh, that is cool. Whoa! This thing like, attacks you? That's interesting. It only attacks me from the front side, though. That's fine. That's cool. I like that. That's staying there. Uh, what about this? You think that would be cool? Eh, we'll see. We'll leave it there for the time being. Now, there was another type of table I was thinking about making. Something like... I'll show you guys real quick. It'd be like with these slabs here. I don't know if that's going to look good, though. Wait, what? Oh, darn you. Oh, you little booger. Right, actually, we're going to have to put one there, and then we're going to have to put this there. And we can pick that up. And see, we have ourselves a stone brick table now. Hmm. 
really don't need that considering I have all these other tables that I can use. They're a little bit fancier looking too. I think, yeah, I think we'll hold off on that. I don't think we really need all that. Alright, so let's grab some of these wood golem workers. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get me some inventory out, but that's alright. Crystal capacitors now. Let's see. Maybe we should set these guys up around the top of the room. Maybe like right in here. That's fine. I think that would work. Alright, what else do we have? Uh, let's see. Arcane work table. Could put one of those here. Got an extra table. I think that'll be alright. Alright, let's grab these picture frames. Let's put one there. Picture frame. And let's add in that another star. Yeah, look at that. We're getting fancy. And we'll put another one like right over here. Hmm. I think I'd rather leave the brain in the jar out, but that's why I brought the talisman of remedium so we could place in there. And the rune of Thanatos. What else could I add in there? I really don't want to put the brain in the jar in there. I actually want to save that for like over here somewhere. To possibly put on a table or something like this. Yeah, see, why wouldn't you want a brain in the jar in your room? Why not, right? Alright, well, the room's coming together very well so far, I think. I like it. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? Alright, let's go grab some chests. In fact, wow, I... Didn't know I had a spare room. Ooh, some bookshelves would be perfect in my room, too. Don't I have, like, a... I guess I don't. I thought I had maybe, like, a... Crafting table in here or something. Oh, wait, I got my other one upstairs. In my room. I got the arcane work table. Alright, let's pick up a few just regular chests. Place one there. Place one there. Let's get our wood golems out. So that way if I drop something on the floor... Oh, hey! Why don't you one of you guys pick up my room for me? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's awesome. Alright, there we go. Let's add a little knowledge to the area here. Actually, I think this would be perfect to have, like, in the back right here. Let me actually grab a few more of those. Oh, darn it, missed. Oh, wait. No, I don't need that room. Let's grab some more bookshelves. Eh, I don't think I need all that. Thank you for cleaning my room. <laughs> Thank you for cleaning my room. Alright, that'll work right there. The reason why I put that there is because of our... Our arcane levitators there. I think that'll work. I guess what I could do is actually... See, where is that at? Right there? Let's open this back up. Let's put that there. And we're going to take our Thaumonomicon and... We're going to place our Thaumonomicon in there, because I can just make another one of those real quick. Not a problem. Alright, so I think that will work. There we have it. My mage room. <laughs> and once we get our arcane transmutator, I will put a table right here in the center and place that right there. And I think that will finish up our room. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys have any helpful ideas, tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And, well, that's it for me. And until next time, see you guys then. Goodbye.